Have you tried to track all your social media in one place? If you tried, you probably know that it's not that easy, mainly because of the data connectors. So Power BI has a few of the data connectors that you need, but it might not have the data that you actually want. And the ones that are not there, you need to create a custom connector for. I have shown you how to create custom connectors before, but the maintenance and creation is not easy at all. So how do you do it? Well, I actually found a way. And you can see it behind me. I have a social media tracker that you can actually download. The description will be done in this video. And to do that, I have used a service called Funnel. So Funnel is a marketing data hub that allows you to get data from social media and other marketing services. And it has now a Power BI connector that makes the experience very, very smooth. Funnel has been very, very kind to sponsor this video. So thank you, Funnel. And I'm going to show you now how you set everything up to get this tracking rolling. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the report that you are going to get. Again, the link in the description below. And this tracks the followers for some of my social media accounts. <laughs> I have more, believe it or not. And as you can see here on Twitter, it says 5,000 followers. And you're probably like, that's not really true. You have more. But this is for my second channel. So what we're going to do is I'm going back to Funnel. I'm going to get for my main channel and change it here, and that will show you how the platform works and how easy it is to set it up. So let's do it. Okay, so logged in in Funnel, and the first thing that you can see here on the overview is the number of um, data sources that I have connected to, the number of dimensions and metrics that I have. I'll show you what that is, and then you see that <laughs> you see only Power BI for this. I mean, it works so well, so why use something else? So how do I get data from my main channels? You go here to data sources and then click on connect data source and then you search by, you can see actually how many uh, data sources they have. So you go to YouTube, click on YouTube. You then authenticate. I already have done that. Click next. And then here, if you click on here, it'll take you to instructions on what data you can get from the API. It's actually very, very useful. I know that I need to have the channel insights because I need to have the lifetime followers. Okay, so you click on there, click next. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And what you will see here is that it will start grabbing the data, right? Okay, so what do we do now? What I have done to be able to get the data from social media is like as follows. Let me show you. I think it's easier as follows. I'm going to go here to metrics. You can create metrics, your own metrics and dimensions in the funnel. And it's extremely useful. I'm going to show you why. So if you go here to lifetime followers and I click on edit, let me make this a little bit smaller. So you can see that this is a metric that I created to map all the lifetime followers for all the social media accounts. So you'll see here that for Facebook, it's called lifetime total followers. For Instagram, it's called followers. For LinkedIn followers, for YouTube, it's called channel subscribers. So you can see the mess if you import this in Power Query. Obviously, you can do this in Power Query, but it's so smooth to do it here. So, what I'm going to do here is grab in from my second channel. I'm going to change this to my main channel. And now it's going to grab channel subscribers from the Kerbal channel. You can add if you want. In this case, I'm just going to substitute. Okay, so I'm going to click save. Another thing that you have is that they have built in a ton of dimensions and metrics that they know people will need because they know the connectors they are building, right? So one that I always use is this data source. So they've mapped all the data source fields on the connectors so you can get the name of the um, social media that you're connecting to instead of having to figure out where that field is. It's really, really neat. So now that we have mapped everything, we have all the data that we need, what we're going to do is to get the data out to Power BI. And you can see here on the export section where you can export the data. In this case, we're going to do it to Microsoft Power BI. I've already have tables 
that I've created for myself. But I'm going to show you how it is created. So what you do is to you say, I'm going to create a new view, which is basically a new table to import in Power BI. You give it a name, and then you choose fields that you want from all the, so the data sources that you picked. You see the power of this is so cool. So what I'm going to do is, or what I did, is to pick the data source name, this one. And then I pick the lifetime followers metric that I've created. Because this one is already mapping what I need. Otherwise, you would have to go through each one of them and try to understand which one it is. So I'm going to grab my lifetime followers and lifetime follows and use these fields, right? And then you save. So basically, we are creating this one. So I have date, I have data source type, lifetime followers and lifetime follows. Now, if I go to Power BI, the only thing I really need to do is refresh to be fair, so if I, let's do it. If I refresh now, it's going to go and grab the new data that I've mapped in here. I don't need to do anything else because I've already set everything up. Just let it load. Did you see that? I didn't need to do anything because, again, I've already set everything up. So lifetime followers metric just changed and gave me the new data. Okay, so now let's go and grab the data from Funnel. I'm going to show you how it is done. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, so you see, make sure that you have at least the May 2022 update because that's when this um, connector became certified and I think available. So here we have the lifetime social media view or table that I created on Funnel. And these are the other ones that I have. So here you say how many months of data you want to have your data from. And then you just transform. And then you can do any transformation that you want in Power Query. I mean, the normal Power Query experience or Power BI experience, nothing weird. Okay. So that is the way to get all your social media and marketing data into Power BI seamlessly. Okay. If you want to know more about Funnel, just go down below and check their services. If you want to get the Power BI file that I showed you, again, go down below. The link is there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again next week. Take care.